Shit, I, I didn't see you there. Welcome, welcome my child. A lost sheep wanders into my midst, seeking the shelter of the flock. Oh worry not, little lamb, for you now bask in his divine presence. I was once like you, you know, scared, confused, alone, without identity and without purpose. Sad, dirty, musty, stupid, ignorant, uneducated, simple, homely, and lacking any style or fashion sense. But fear not, pitiful one, for I am no longer a pathetic sheep, but a sheep dog, nipping at the heels of lost souls to guide them to our shepherd. Now tell me, child, have you come to mend your mangled mind? And have you ever heard of the Vans perk? This is Joe Joman. Glorious grease golem gutter and gifted guru on a quest to destroy Liberty Prime and free the commonwealth of robots. In the war against automatons, Joe had been hot on the trail of the Institute, preparing to unlock the secrets of how to teleport inside. But then, tragically, his main questline completely broke when he was stumped by modern technology and completely unable to decode the Courser chip. Since nobody's found the entrance to the Institute, because there is no entrance. And teleporting in via the main quest was off the table. It seemed like there was no way for Joe to put a stop to their nefarious deeds. So he gave up and accepted defeat. Bans wants me to pick up the bucket. That is, until he remembered the perk he got specifically to guide him when he was lost. Vans, let vault Tech guide you. So, he meditated, communed with the almighty Vans, using the relic it had bestowed upon him as a conduit, and it revealed to him none other than the path to his closest quest target. If an entrance to the Institute you wish to craft, then you must first ride upon a massive shaft. Joe knew exactly where to find a massive shaft to ride, so he headed a good neighbor to visit an old friend. Hancock! What can I do for our new cup? Oh, whoa, whoa! Watch where you're swinging that thing, Hancock! Look who it is. We heading out again? I got weird, uncomfortable, post-coitus needs. Let's do it! Let's go, Hancock. Then, the two of them headed to the abandoned building next door. Our, our key into the Institute, as the great spirit of Vats has foretold, lies within this building. Oh shit, I didn't realize there were enemies in here. Joe likes his privacy, so he shot all the voyeurs before getting down and dirty. See, the message from Vans was clear to him. The mass in massive obviously referred to the mass fusion building next door to Good Neighbor, and the shaft was the elevator shaft that was inside. Now it was time to perform the first miracle. Oh mighty Vans, please guide me towards the goal <laughs> you seek. Uh? Uh? What do you guys think? Using the power of the Vans bucket, we ascended to the second floor. There, our next piece of bucket wisdom came into play. Once with Shaft, you've reached your goal. Explore the other side and enter the hole. This one was pretty self-explanatory. We needed to prop climb up the elevator wall, then cross over and get into this hole, normally only accessible with a jetpack. Okay, now it's time for the harder part though, I think. Uh, I believe our target is right about there. I hope it's that one. It's one of these walls. Vans, take me up the wall, please. And it's as easy as this, folks. All the way up, all the way up. Keep going, keep going. Wait, am I at the wrong- oh wait, no, 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 we gotta go across. It's right there, it's that hole. Oh, oh. Oh my god, and we're in. Hancock, I don't even know how you got up here. In the secret office room, we received the gift that would play a role in Van's grand design. The free fall legs. Okay. Are you guys ready? Check this out. We have become more than human. We are completely immune to fall damage. Praise be to Vans. As we followed our holy shepherd, we deciphered our next clue. 
Before thee breach the unholy womb, procure your device so that it may go boom. This one had a stumped for a while, but then we realized that if you spell boom like womb, you get bomb. Fans wanted us to get an explosive, so we went to grab the biggest boom we knew of, a mini nuke. Get the ash maker and use it in the war. You know, Hancock would look kind of nice with the ash maker. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Deathclaw? Alpha? No. No. <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> no alpha deathclaw for me, please. Now where is this mini nuke? Oh, look at them. They're cowering in fear. That's adorable. Oh, that's not Miko! Light dog armor? There we go. He looks ready for battle yeah. now. Where's this mini nuke at? Jackpot. Oh my god, wait, there's so many cigarettes in here. This is about to like break our cigarette economy. This is inflation. Five cartons? 19 packs of cigarettes. We got 116 cigarettes out of that. That's enough to last us at least a week. Now I'm hoping there's not a death claw outside waiting for us. I think he might be onto us. Oh! 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 Uh, fuck, uh... Give him the old loop de loop. Loop de loop and pull. Oh yeah, over the railing, over the railing. No! No! <sighs> Nobody can stop me today, Deathclaw. I have the power of vans on my side. To find the spot, just grab your friends. Penetrate the tube where sewage ends. It sounded like Vans was finally ready to show us the entrance, and the excitement was palpable. <laughs> Dear Lord, Hancock. <laughs> Put that thing away, bro. Oh my god. Whoa! He's slapping me with it. Put that shit away! Oh, Hancock's excited. It's definitely time for the next phase of the operation. Now, I will reveal the second miracle that Vans has revealed to me. Everyone says that the Institute has no entrance, and that the only way is to teleport in. But everyone who said that lied. We will now enter the sewers. Normally, this area is used in the Minutemen quest to destroy the Institute. Joe obviously didn't have this quest, but with the power of Vans, he was well beyond quest markers. You see, you gotta use your brain, guys. They say the Institute's cut off from the world, but how could that be the case if they're drinking water and, you know, like, pissing and shitting? All the sewage has to go somewhere, right? Which means they have to have a sewer pipe somewhere there has to be a sewage pipe that stuff doesn't vanish it has to go somewhere straight into joe's mouth no wait no and the fact that there's laser turrets down there is a little suspicious don't you think the secrets lie within the shit the stinkier the sewage the sa more savory the surprise that don't quote me on that ow army looking so hot yeah, no shit, Hancock. I just got shot. Scanning. Oh shit. Did you hear that? I definitely just heard scanning. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. Stimpak. Oh, we gotta retreat. I need better cover. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Yep, they're here. Those were synths. That means we're on the right track, though. Oh, nice job, Hancock. All right. Cool. Oh shit. Show yourself, synth. Get off my dog, clanker. Target down. And looky what we have here. Take a little look-sees. Let me, wait, hold on. Wait, do you guys smell that? Did you taste that? Did you taste that or was it just me? Hold on. Oh yeah. There's definitely a distinct taste. Mm. Oh yeah, that's clanker shit right there. 
I <laughs> I could smell it a mile away. Like a snake slithering out of a toilet bowl, Joe emerged from the pipe. Would you look at this? Interesting. I'd say we're right at the front gates of the Institute, if I had to guess. Finally, at the doorstep of his second greatest enemy, Joe could at last bring an end to the synth menace. All that was left was to ride the elevator down inside and... Because Joe was there on his own initiative rather than a quest, the elevator was deactivated, and we couldn't interact with anything in the room. So close, and yet so far, it seemed there was no way for Joe to proceed from here. If thou seeketh to enter the Institute's halls, thou must grind thy body against its walls. This is where I reveal the third miracle of the Vans bucket, and the reason why we have gotten free fall leggings. You see, first we go up here, and then we go up here. And sadly, this is the point where we have to leave our Vans bucket behind for the time being. He dies for our sins so that we can proceed. There would be time for mourning later. Now, we had to focus on the task at hand. With our immunity to fall damage, it was a straight shot down into the Institute from here. As we stared into the limitless expanse of Van's raw power, we received one final message. Do it. Oh, f you, clankers! I found you, you scumbags! Oh, God! They knew we were coming! Oh god! Oh! Oh! No! Let me really try to send a, like, sprinting jump here. Oh, fuck! That's a courser! Die! Okay, okay, okay. Oh. No! Shit! I'm trying a different approach this time. Die, cowards! I strike from above! The glorious Vans Bucket gave his life for this opportunity! I will slay you all in his name! Fuck you! Oh shit! Oh my god, there's so many of them! They keep breaking my arms! Look at them all! <laughs> it's a bunker! Moving in for a better angle. OPEN FIRE! Fuck you! I am Vans' retribution! I am humanity's will! I will kill every clanker in this building! Line them up! Oh! You son of a bitch! I'm out of ammo! God damn it, we crashed again! Okay, this is a new entrance. Oh my god, Hancock's here. Wait, this is a way better strat. Got one. The game is on. Let them come. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Fuck you, clankers. Oh god. Ooh. There's a lot of lasers down there. Fuck you. Open fire. Grenade! Yeah, fuck you! Oh my god! Grenade! No, fuck you! <laughs> Eat shit! Fuck you. Stop saying fuck you, Joe! I know you hate them! I need you to throw grenades! Oh shit! Be gone, foul demons! I cast you out! There is no place in the commonwealth for you! Do you dare face me? I am Joe Joman. I am the vessel of Van's will! I am the slayer of clankers! The plunderer of pirate booty! And the murderer of you! Hancock admires you. You're damn right he does! Ain't nobody slay clankers like I do! You're witnessing a miracle, Hancock! Keep your eyes wide open! This is the day the Commonwealth is free of the Institute! Hey, are they- is the main lobby cleared? Oh, not quite. Don't run, coward! 
Where's the father at? The director's quarters. Where are you, director? There he is. Hancock, hand me my sledgehammer, Hancock. Shit, I don't know where Hancock went. Fine. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. This truly is a wonderful place, isn't it? I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. I'm gonna beat you to death now. Fuck you! Eat shit, director! Oh god, wait, he's armed! No, 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 no! Fuck you! <laughs> Give me your ammo, bitch. After clearing the main lobby in a glorious slaughter, Joe visited every branch to clean up the stragglers. Oh my god, he's so tanky. Hey there. Fuck you. <laughs> and once he was sure there was nothing left moving, he looted everything, gaining almost 600 fusion cells, 30 stim packs, and an inventory full of guns for Hancock. Then, we left a little boom in the womb room, and prepared to leave. Sadly, we still couldn't use the elevator, so there was no way to get back to the top where our bucket was. Except the way we already had before. So, we fast traveled out of the institute, which you're allowed to do even in survival mode, and it was then, on the third day, that we crawled back through the sewers, and the van's bucket rose once again. <sighs> back at the top, where Joman always belongs. And there's my glorious companion. Welcome home, Van's Bucket. Then, we used the Institute's own relay to send us somewhere with a nice view. Stronger times create harder men. I told you once, I'll tell you again. Joe Joman is the hardest man in the Commonwealth. Eat shit, Institute. Out of applause. The Institute is fucking dead. Beyond a trace. I think that calls for a cigar, baby. After enjoying the view with a victory smoke, we threw ourselves off the mass fusion building and headed to Diamond City, expecting a hero's welcome. You gotta listen. Oh shit! Mayor McDonough, I saw him with one of those Institute synths. What? Hyper was right. He's one of them. Your time is now, Mayor McDonough. The synth scourge has been revealed for what it truly is. There's nowhere left to hide for the likes of you. Your precious Institute is gone, wiped off the map. Nice. Howdy doodly, <laughs> Mayor McClanker. What seems to be the situation in here? I am not just going to be discarded oh. and tossed to the wolves. I'm the mayor, <laughs> goddammit. Oh, well, you're quite right, Mayor McDonough. You won't simply be discarded and thrown to the wolves. You'll also be shot many times. You'll never take me alive. I ran out of ammo. <laughs> With the old mayor revealed to be a synth, we decided to check up on the education policies he had imposed on the city. Magazine under the stairs, is that true? Excellent. Robot companions permanently inflict fi- Ew! Get this off of me! Get this out of my inventory! Unlearn the perk! What is this filth they're teaching kids in Diamond City? They're teaching them to love robots? Here's a lesson for you kids. Clankers deserve to die. <laughs> Ah, uh, some things never change. The citizens thanked us for removing the robo scum, and we returned home to one final surprise. <gasps> Valentine, I always knew you were a goddamn clanker sympathizer. I've had about enough of this traitorous, backstabbing piece of shit. Shit. If killing clankers is crazy, consider me institutionalized.